Hi all, welcome to Simple Engineering, Engineering Simplified. I am Neetu Rahul. Today we are going to discuss about the state space representation for phase variables. We can solve a problem on the state model for the characteristics equation which is given by a differential equation. If you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing. Let's move to the video. So the problem is state space representation for phase variables. In that we have the given a differential equation and we have to find the state model for the system given. So the differential equation is given as d cube y by dt square plus 6 d square y by dt square plus 11 y dy by dt plus 6 y plus u is equal to 0. So from this we can solve as y is equal to x1. So y dot or y dash which is equal to x1 dot which is equal to x2 y double dot will be equal to x2 dot which is equal to x3 y triple dot will be equal to x3 dot that is we have taken y is equal to x1 our state variable x1 so y dash that is the differential of y which will be equal to differential of x that we can represent it as a state variable x2 same like that y double dash means differential of y dash which gives uh, y dash is equal to x2 so y double dash means again differential of y dash that is equal to x2 dash that we can represent it as x3 then y triple dash means three times we are differentiating so that will be equal to the differential of x3 so we can write According to these parameters, we can write this differential equation as y triple dot plus 6 into y double dot plus 11 y dot plus 6 y plus u is equal to 0. So, we have rewritten this equation into this form. And y triple dot. So we have these parameters over here that we can substitute in this equation. So y triple dot means it is our x3 dot. Plus 6 into y double dot means it is our x3. Plus 11 into y dot means it is our x2. Plus 6 y means it is x1 plus u is equal to 0. So we have only this is the differential form rest everything we have x1, x2, x3 parameters. So we can write x3 dot will be equal to minus 6 x1. x1 parameter I am writing first minus 6 x1 minus 11 x2 minus 6 x3 minus u that is x3 dot I am keeping in this side and rest everything I am taking to the other side of 0. So all the positive terms will become negative terms. So we got x3 dot will be equal to minus 6 x1 minus 11 x2 minus 6 x3 minus u. So we have got x1, x1 dot, x2 dot and x3 dot. So we can represent it over here that is x1 dot will be equal to x2, x2 dot will be equal to x3 and x3 dot is equal to minus 6 x1 minus 11 x2 minus 6 x3 minus u. So we can write the parameters as x1 dot, x2 dot x3 dot which will be equal to for x1 dot you have only x2 term x1 and x3 term is not there so you can write it as 0 1 
0. Here x2, the coefficient is 1. Next you have x2 dot. Only you have x3 term. Its coefficient is 1. Rest everything is 0. For x3 dot you have for x1 coefficient is minus 6. So minus 6. For x2 it is minus 11. And for x3 it is minus 6. Into x1, x2, x3. Plus in the constant for x1 dot you have no constant. So it is 0. For x2 dot also there is no constant. So it is 0. And for x3 dot you have u. Its coefficient is minus 1 into u. So you have got the state variables x1 dot, x2 dot and x3 dot. Then we have the output equation which is equal to y. And here you can see that our y will be equal to x1. So we have only x1 term for y. So this we can write it as 1. x2 term is not there. x3 term is not there. So this into x1, x2, x3. So this is the state model representation of the differential equation given in this problem. So we have the state variables which is represented as x1 dot, x2 dot and x3 dot and this is our output equation y. So hope this is clear for everyone. If you find this useful, please share it with others and do subscribe my channel. Thank you.